Also, if you could just run us through your TNUs, uh, specifically the fitness of pair, most likely. You will have a test this morning, and uh, we'll assess after the training session how we, if I include him or not. From uh, Wednesday night, everybody looks available. No major injuries. And uh, as well, nobody coming back, uh, like uh, Chesney or Boziki or Diaby, of course, they're all out. Uh, Kerry Gibbs got his call up to England this week. You must be pleased with that. Said, oh. I'm pleased uh, because it's a, a reward for the consistency of his <coughs> performances since the start of the season. And uh, as well, it's always good to know when you're a football player that you can represent your country and that uh, the national coach rates you. There's a big competition going on there because you have Cole, of course, uh, Baines, Gibbs. It's uh, quite good for England to have so many good players on, 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 on in that position. Just finally for Miss West Ham at the weekend, another London derby. Is that an extra twist? Does London derby still count? They still count because it's uh, always a difficult place to go, West Ham, because they have a good side, they have a, a good balance as well, they are efficient, they are a good mixture, I must say, between uh, direct play and play on the ground, because technically they are quite sound in midfield. When needed, they have Carroll up front, Cole up front, who can go for high balls as well. We know that we'll uh, have a big challenge there, and. Uh, uh, we know we only get away with the points uh, do we perform at our best. Going on the, the sort of international theme, uh, if I may ask, and, uh, you've got three players in the in the England squad. Um, Cole Jenkinson apparently wasn't far away. Jack Wilshere in the future. Uh, that would that would be five Arsenal players in mm. the England squad. Does that represent something of a sea change? Yes, because I I. Uh, I uh, faced many times, uh, of course, uh, some questions about that. And uh, I always said my target, uh, the ideal mixture is, of course, to have a basic uh, young squad where 60% comes <laughs> from th this country and 40% maybe from uh, abroad. And uh, we get slowly there and we have good young talent uh, from England. What is the latest with, with Jack Wilshire? I mean, obviously you, you, you He's doing very well, but uh, we need to be a bit patient, you know. Uh, he has played 60 minutes in the reserve team and uh, he needs a few games, uh, progressive build-up, uh, get your body used again to competition, to shocks, to fights. And, uh, but he's doing extremely well. It's, the situation is looking very good. We have to be, uh, how can you call that, a bit uh, cautious and not crazy, because of course, because of his talent, you're always pushed in a situation where we would like to rush him back, and we have to resist to that. Is he upping it in training? What are his plans in terms of the next match, the next reserve game? The next match uh, should be next week. And is he increasing things in training? Yeah, he working, he's working very, very hard, but uh, the body is like that. that uh, when you have been out of competition for 14 months, it takes some time to find your sharpness back. It's, uh, you cannot uh, rush it, you know.